ça Zao Nah, you good Go ahead and keep that This is our new orphanage. Right. It's as big as a castle. Feel free to use the house as you see fit. Mrs. Mullins and I stay down here. Your <laughs> rooms are upstairs. Locked. And it stays that way. Okay. Not said. You don't fucking listen. You don't get your shit fucked up. You're the one star, aren't you? Can you help me? What do you need? Janice says she's seen your daughter. My daughter has been dead for a very long time. She was taken from us at an early age. We prayed to see our beloved girl again. The contact started small. But then it wanted permission to move into a doll so that it could be with us forever. Fuck you mean. We said yes. For anybody that knows me, knows that I've been seeing the number 11 a lot. So, you know, that's that's an angel number for anyone, any, anyone that doesn't know. For anyone that does know, you know what I mean. And I've been seeing that shit for a very long time. <clears throat> um, whoo, I just got the motherfucking chills, bitch. Um, right, so i seen... Right, the first one, loved it. As a horror movie, fucking loved it. I feel like nowadays it's hard as hell to to make a good, legit horror movie. But, you know, and we got some movies out there like Annabelle and The Conjuring and, 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 and stuff like that to, um, to make horror movies, you know, good again. Great, damn good. But I'm still waiting for a, a game changer, you know? I'm still waiting on on somebody to take to take it to the whole next level. You know what I mean? Like for me, only me. Um the I haven't seen the Blair Witch Project, still haven't seen it. Um, but the first paranormal activity, that was a game changer for me. And it was for a lot of people. Um, that's what made the first one really fucking good. After the first one, it, it kind of just went, you know, instead of going, you know, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's it's kind of hard, especially especially for horror movies. It's kind of hard to beat the original, or yeah, it's kind of hard to beat the original. Um, the second one, Paranormal Activity, it was you know, it was okay, but the first one beats them all, you know. So I I say that to say this, Annabelle. Oh. <sighs> Doesn't look like no, no kitty, 
you know, I'm still fucking creature. I still got the fucking chills. Oh, okay. And the reason I'm scared is because I don't fuck with dolls. I don't fuck with anything that's not alive that has a human face on a bitch. You know, um, so that's why I don't really, I don't like dolls at all. Um, so this one, this Annabelle, fuck man. Just like the first one, it doesn't seem like your average, <sighs> okay, your average um horror movie because if it it, it it seems like you know it may be some jump scares, but it's it's I don't think it's gonna be like that throughout the whole movie. I feel like there's gonna be a build up to the actual scare, um. But, hell, bruh, I love horror movies like that. That's not just, you know, solely dependent on horror. I mean, on, um, what's it? On, uh, on jump scares. I like the suspense. I like the build up to the actual scare. So, that's why I love, you know, Annabelle so much and all of not all but most of these horror movies that's you know that are recent that came out recently in the past couple of years but I'm definitely going to see this without a doubt I love horror movies and um I just hope you know somebody out there really changes the game for horror movies or make make the next biggest game changer horror film um but yeah I forgot what movie it, I haven't seen it though yet but I forgot what movie it was it was it's a horror movie but it was like I think it was like all FaceTime or something it was recent it was all like all FaceTime and They kept, oh man, I'm, I'm terrible at explaining stuff, but I forgot what it was called. I don't know, but um, yeah, without a doubt, I'm going to see this. Hopefully y'all go to see this. Um, and how do y'all feel about the horror movies in our, you know, I would say in our generation, in this new generation day and age, um, but yeah. Hey, kid. Okay. My heart is still racing, by the way. This whole time I've been talking, this whole video, and my heart is still racing because of this. Because it's late as hell. It's 12.34, right? It'll be, I would have a whole different reaction, I think, if I was to record my reaction in raw daylight or in sunny outside. But... Hey, keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.